What's up guys so we are back with another exciting video tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about the history panel inside Adobe Audition. Let's open an audio file. You can go to the file and I'm open a recent audio file. You can this a recent command to open the recently opened uh, audio files uh, pretty quickly that way you don't have to go to the file browser. So I have opened the audio file and uh, when I go to the history panel you can see I open you can see that command and now if i adjust the amplitude of this audio file and it will record here right in the history panel and let's say we add the compression effect like uh, single band compressor and when you apply it will apply and let's say when we apply the normalize to minus three decibel and you can see uh, that command is uh, recorded in the history so what is the uh, important of that let's say we want to go back to the original state uh, we can click on the open state and we can uh, go back to the original state and if you want to move forward the uh, two steps uh, you can click here and you can go move back uh, you can by using this history panel you can move either up uh, forward or backward uh, based on your steps and now if you do any kind of modification here and you can see that the next uh, forward two steps were disappeared right so that way uh, we can if you change any modification uh, we cannot go back to uh, go to the forward state again right so when you modify a audio file like this you can see this asterisk mark that means uh, we have changed the original audio file and the and when you go back here and when you save and it will uh, disappear the star that means the audio file has been saved but the problem is the audio file is saving to the original audio file that is pretty dangerous keep this in uh, your mind right so let's say you add some terrible effect to this uh, audio file and you save to the save it to the as uh, original file and uh, after uh, of course uh, you can use the history panel to you go back to the original state and then you can save it but the problem is uh, if you close the audition the all the history will be gone and then uh, there is no way to uh, recover that uh, original file that's very important right so if you missed anything uh, it is uh, pretty important that you recover your file before you close the audition uh, if not uh, it is a very good practice to have a backup of the original audio file that way if something missed uh, you can have the original backup copy then you can go back to the original files right so that's pretty important right so i think uh, i have you all the information about the history panel if you have any question you can leave a comment and we would like to hear your ideas suggestions and if you have any special tutorial request those are really welcome and i'll we'll be back with the next video tutorial thanks